Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Marie Garcison and welcome to our course, Methods of Research. And today, we're going to discuss the research problem. Now, what is a research problem? A research problem is a statement about an area of concern, a condition to be improved upon, a difficulty to be eliminated, or a troubling question that exists in scholarly literature and theory or in practice that points to the need of for meaningful understanding and deliberate investigation. The purpose of a problem statement is first, introduce the reader to the importance of the topic being studied. The reader is oriented to the significance of the study and the research questions or hypothesis to follow. Second, place the problem into a particular context that defines the parameters of what is to be investigated. And lastly, provide the framework for reporting the results and indicates what is probably necessary to conduct the study and explain how the findings will present this information. Now, where are research problems found? At the very heart of every research project, it is paramount in importance to the success of the research effort and it should be considered by any researcher. The situation is quite simple, no problem, no research. One of the problems that confront a student is that if he has no problem, that is his problem. Problems for research are everywhere and we will discuss the sources of a good research problem for student researchers. Number 1. Actual problems encountered as a student, a student leader, a student scholar, or as a working student. Many problems confronted in the classroom or during classroom dis lectures, class discussions, seminars, workshops, forums, or out-of-class exchange of ideas will suggest many stimulating problems to be solved. Reading assignments in textbooks, research reports, and term papers will suggest additional areas of needed research. Next is field of specialization. If your field of specialization is English, the research problem must be within the teaching of English education. However, if your field of specialization is early childhood education, the topic must be forged within your discipline, not in mathematics or any other fields. Next is analysis of an area of knowledge. It can be analysis of classical and operant conditioning and motivation, or analysis of the models of curriculum evaluation, and other areas of knowledge relative to your program of study. Number 4. Consideration of an existing practices and needs. Dormitories, cafeteria, and other student services. Adaptation to the new normal in attending classes and other practices and needs relative to your field of specialization. Number 5. Absence or lack of information resulting to a gap on one's knowledge and contradictory results. Conflicting theories or hypotheses and insufficiency of existing data. Example, absence of implementing rules and regulations of the policy regarding students' internship. Number 6. Recommendations of conducted research studies. Number 7. The University Research Agenda, as provided by the University Research Services Department. And last, researchable areas that are related to your field of specialization. Example, if your field of specialization is biological science, climate change is one among your researchable areas that is related to biological science. 
Now, there are certain factors in the selection of a research problem. These factors are the external factor or external criteria and personal factor or personal criteria. For external factor number one, novelty and avoidance of unnecessary duplication. Novelty is concerned with the elements of newness. Next is importance in the field or practical value of the problem. It must result in practical value in the life of the persons alluded to, the respondents, to the concerned institution, or to the end users. Next is special equipment. Research activity is also constrained by the use of special equipment or unique working condition. Next is availability of data. If data are available, Fruitful results can be yielded without experiencing too much difficulty. And the last is institutional or administrative cooperation. The selection of the topic will need the endorsement of the sponsoring agency and administrative cooperation. For personal factors, first, researchers' interest in the problem. Researcher never just select a problem because of what people say to him, but must be guided by his personal choice and interest. Next is cost of investigating the problem. Conducting research, no matter how simple it is, always entails expenses. Next is time required to finish the study. The study must be conducted within a reasonable period of time. Next is the special qualification of the researcher. This is sometimes called competency in the subject or problem under study. The research problem must be within the researcher's competence to tackle. And last, the research problem must be within the ability of the researcher to finance. That's all from now. Thank you and stay safe.